everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first ever Inktober drawing that I've ever done. Inktober is something that I've wanted to do for quite some time now, especially now that I've become a lot more interested in illustration, painting and drawing recently. So I thought why not eh? What could go wrong? From what I've gathered from many others out there who participate in this, Inktober seems to be more of an opportunity to improve your artwork and develop skills rather than being just another mindless challenge. As a massive lover of the spooky season, autumn, Halloween and things like that, usually on this channel I like to make spooky month videos, which used to be me making as many spooky related videos as possible throughout the month of October, like DIYs and things like that. But every year I failed and I've got to admit, I kind of got a little burnt out doing it. It was a lot of work. So hopefully this year I can break the curse with Inktober. No promises, but I'm gonna try my best. So for Inktober, usually people like to follow a prompt list. However, I'm changing this up a bit by making my Inktober drawings into a comic style story, if that makes sense. So for the past few months, my number one thing that I've loved to draw are in fact magical mushrooms. And if you follow my personal Instagram, Lady Pops, with two S's, or my business Instagram, Mythical Studios, you may have seen a sneak peek of these already in my sketchbook posts. Don't worry if not, I am planning to do a sketchbook tour in the future. However, I have decided to base my Inktober comic on the creation and backstory of these adorable little critters. So without further ado, let's get started. Bubbling and brewing away, Mabel reaches for another pinch of prickly fawn leaves. She crunches and crushes them in her palm and with a flick of her wrist adds them to the boiling cauldron. Sour aromas fill the air of her cabin so she lights her incense to mask the smell. That's better, but something's not quite right, she murmurs to herself as she turns to the many shelves of jars, bottles and books. She slowly gazes thoughtfully across each shelf, picking up dashes and dribs of small ingredients as she goes. Some honeysuckle wouldn't go amiss. Brambles, a buckle, and wart's kiss. Moss to make it a little spongy. Brings to life this little. The pot begins to crackle and the heat intensifies. The mixture glows a piercing red. What's happening? There shouldn't be. She dashes over to her book of brews, cauldron hitting angrily behind her. The book was on the wrong page. Some honeysuckle wouldn't go amiss. Brambles, a buckle, and what's kiss. Moss will make it a little spongy. Brings to life this little. <laughs> the cauldron bursts with red. Mabel dazzled by the heat and the light. It fades to darkness, just as Mabel whispers. Fungi.
So I hope you liked day one of Inktober. As you can see, I've actually drawn out two parts of the story in this video. One of Mabel mixing her potion, and the other during the flash of the cauldron, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like a two part in one. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate any feedback that you have, so let loose in the comments below. And that's all I got for now. I am mega rusty to voiceovers, so yeah. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.